I've travelled to the north of England to meet a bunch of enthusiasts with a head for heights. Harry Stringer is from the Pennine Region Balloon Association. He's been flying hot air balloons for over 25 years. Uh, so where are we going today? Well, we'll clear the treetops here. That sounds like a good then, start. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then we'll go up to about a thousand feet. Okay. Hands on. The very first hot air balloon, launched in 1783, was the brainchild of two brothers called Joseph and Etienne Montgolfier. Oh, we're free! Okay, we're away, John. One story goes that Joseph had been staring into his fireplace one evening when he had the idea of filling a paper bag with hot air. On letting the bag go, he observed that it began to rise. And this encouraged the brothers to repeat the experiment, but this time with a much larger, purpose-built balloon. thing about balloons is how they exploit a crucial property of hot gases. The mechanism of these is beautifully simple. There's a bag above me filled with hot air. What the burner does is allows the balloonist to play around with the density of the air by controlling its temperature. And as the air inside there is heated up, and it could get up to 100 degrees Celsius, it expands. As the air expands, its individual molecules push outwards, making the air inside the balloon less dense. Gravity is pulling everything, everything I can see, down to the ground. But because the air inside the balloon is less dense than the air around it, Everything around us is being pulled down more, so it's squeezing the less dense balloon upwards. And so balloonists are floating on top of the denser air around them. But temperature doesn't just enable a balloon to rise, it also controls how it falls. So how do you make us come down? We'll have a parachute vent. It's massive, you can see it. I could pull this red line yep. and it will open the valve and then I just close it and the gulp of hot air loss will cause the balloon to descend. Are safe. Can we stand up now? We can, we can. The discovery that heating up air could make it expand enough to lift people into the skies was a milestone in human innovation. And it wasn't long before we began to put that very same heat energy to a much more practical purpose. 